A young man was traveling abroad, driving through a remote forest. When he got into a car crash, he was saved by something doubtful and became awestruck when he realized what had happened. This man was in the midst of a year of exploration. After many years of schooling and hard work, he had treated himself to this big adventure. He was excited to see parts of the world he'd only ever read about and hoped to learn many life lessons throughout his experience. It's safe to say he never anticipated the journey he was about to go on the day he rented a car and opted to drive through a dense and massive forest. There was a road navigating through the woods and the drive was rumored to be absolutely stunning. So he bought a map, filled his car's gas tank and set out toward the woods. The drive was expected to take about two hours from one side of the forest to the other. Once he passed through the peaceful closure of the tree line, he felt the calmness and solitude of being alone in nature. He blasted his music, and seeing only a few other cars on the road, he began to speed down hills and zip around corners. He continued driving in this playful manner as the car approached some fog rolling in along the ground. At this point, the man felt he was somewhere otherworldly, and he neglected his own safety in the fervor of the moment. A few minutes went by, and the fog turned into a gentle rain. The man was encouraged by the change in atmosphere and blasted his music even louder. The rain continued to pick up until it was a roar battling to be louder than the music. It got harder to see the trees and the forest's details as the rain poured down in sheets. Perhaps that is why the man failed to spot a deer venturing across the street. Moreover, maybe that is why the man didn't react until things were too late. He swerved and luckily missed hitting the deer, but this jerk of the steering wheel also took the car right off the road. It slipped quickly and unceremoniously into the nearest tree. The deer dashed away as the man fell into unconsciousness. He had a few brief seconds to register what happened during the crash and just managed to think to himself, okay, I'm still alive, before he faded into a heavy slumber. The man awoke some time later. It took him quite a while to orient himself and realize that he was no longer in his crashed rental car. He was in a little bed in a house. He had no idea where he was, but given that he was on someone's private property rather than in a hospital, he assumed he was still in proximity to the forest. His theory was proven correct when an elderly gentleman entered the room. The older man held water, some bread, and over-the-counter pain medicine. The bedridden traveler waded through his muddled confusion to thank the man for the food and drink. He felt severe bruising across his middle body, perhaps a broken rib or two. But surprisingly, that seemed to be the main extent of his injuries. The old man explained that a few days had passed since he'd found the unconscious traveler. He had taken him in, washed him, and given him dry clothes. The young man had so many questions rattling around in his head. Who was this older gentleman? Where were they? What happened to the rental car? And the biggest question, how did he end up in the stranger's house? The elderly man saw the curiosity burning in the young man's eyes. He told him to be patient and build up his strength. All questions would be answered when the young man had recovered a bit more and was in a better place to hear the unbelievable story of how his life was saved. Over the next few days, the young man continued to heal. He ate and drank and slept. Eventually, he was able to sit up for longer periods of time. So, the elderly man set him up a nice armchair in the living room for him to hang out in. That is what led the young man to venture into the living room, and that is when he met the other guest in the house. In front of him was a real, live bear. He suddenly felt very lightheaded and frightened. The old man saw the distress flash across his guest's face and called the bear to him. The young man watched in shock as the bear obediently backed away and sat in the far corner of the room. The old man sat beside the armchair and started explaining himself. He was actually a forest ranger in charge of overseeing half of the woods. That is why he lived out in the middle of nowhere. A few years previous, the forest had an issue with poachers, sneaking in and hunting the wildlife indigenous to the region. One such time, the ranger heard gunshots and trekked through the forest to protect the creatures under his care. 
The poachers had fled, and when they heard the ranger approaching, leaving their target behind. The ranger had found a large, fully grown bear crumpled on the forest floor. He had tried to save it, but the bear had been shot too many times. The old man had opted to sit with it and give it company and respect as it passed. A few minutes later, the man was surprised to find out that he was not alone in his vigil. A tiny bear cub had slowly approached its mom, but had kept some distance from the ranger. When the mother bear had gone still, the man had wiped his tears and risen to go home, leaving the small cub behind. When the ranger had walked for some time, he had realized again that he wasn't alone. If he turned to look, nothing was behind him, but if he stepped forward, he could hear something small marching behind him, following. Eventually, he reached the house. The ranger had sat on his front step and waited. Finally, the bear cub had cautiously neared him. From that day on, the ranger adopted this bear. Now it was trained enough to be allowed in the house, and he answered the man's commands. But being a wild animal, he still needed some time out in its habitat. So, the ranger allowed the bear to come and go as it desired. The ranger laughed at the young man, saying he felt like he had turned into the mama bear. The young man listened to the story with wonder, but he did not understand how the ranger's relationship with a bear had anything to do with him and his car crash. He thought nothing could shock him more than the tale he had just heard, but boy, was he wrong. The ranger explained that his semi-domesticated bear had gone out into the forest as usual, but hadn't returned for about a day and a half. This was out of the bear's routine, so the ranger followed him into the woods to ensure it was okay. What he found was unbelievable. The bear must have heard or smelled the crash somehow because it had found the young traveler in his car immediately. He had managed to tear away bits of the car around the unconscious man, and then he had dragged him out of the rubble. It had taken him so long to make it back home because he was carrying the man in its mouth, careful not to hurt him with its sharp teeth. The ranger had found the pair halfway home and helped his bear get the traveler to the house. Once there, the ranger took care of the traveler, expecting his furry friend to return to the wilderness. However, the bear had refused to let the young man out of its sight and had waited inside the house until his awakening. The traveler had never been more shocked in his life. Mastering all his courage, he got up to pet the bear on the head and thank him for his help. Maybe he hadn't lived the real adventure he'd hoped, but he sure had an exciting story to tell his friends back home. Did you know that even wild animals like bears could be capable of such selfless actions? What would you do if someone told you a bear saved your life? Let us know in the comments below.